Hi guys, it's Troy at the Full Setup here, back with another video for you, and today we are doing a graphics card unboxing. We have the Palette Gaming Pro OC GeForce RTX 2060. This is a 6GB version because that's all that's available at the moment. Um, I picked this up for um, £330, but the price has gone up a little bit now. So you can see here, ray tracing. It's got GDDR6, DirectX 12, and Anzil. It's um, also much more improved Vulkan support as well on the new uh, NVIDIA graphics cards. They've done very good at that. There's just the back of the box. A few things about the specs. So you're going to need like a 500 watt power supply, but I reckon you could probably get away with like a 430. This is going to draw about 190 watts TDP. This is rated for will draw up to about 225 when overclocked from what I've seen. Now I'll be testing lots of benchmarks for this over the next coming weeks and I'll make sure I put all that footage in the description as well. So I'm talking about 1080p benchmarks. We're going to be doing 1440p benchmarks and we are also going to be doing 4K and 34 by 30, 3440 by 1440 ultra wide benchmarks as well. Should be testing anywhere between 10 and 15 games on each one of those benchmarks and so make sure you check them out. As you can see, it's just got this sort of black insert box. And then we have a user manual, but I'm sure you know how to install it. We're going to install it in a second as well. We'll look at the outer box boost clocks as well. Driver disc, but I always recommend getting the latest drivers from NVIDIA. As we know with these new drivers, you can use NVIDIA graphics cards with free sync monitors now. So I'm really happy about that. Let's take the card out of the box. Let's take it out of this. So here is the graphic card, and I must admit, it is a rather basic looking card. It wasn't my first choice. I did originally want the Founders Edition, which did get uh, released a little bit later in the day, but I didn't know when I was going to get it. Let's just have a little look around. So the RTX 2060, it features 920 CUDA cores. Um, it's got 39 RTX ops. Now this is the 12 nanometer TU106 GPU now, but the GPU they put in here with the Turing GPUs, they have sort of standard ones and they have sort of specially binned ones that overclock a little bit higher. This has the overclock chip in it. And that's because it has a base of 1365 megahertz and a boost of 1830. There's an LED strip that lights up here. I think it just lights up white, but we can have a look in a second. You may be able to turn that off as well. You use the Paylet Thundermaster, I think it's called. Single eight pin, 190 watts TDP. Would have liked to have seen a back plate, but I think I'm going to contact one of my friends to get them to make me one. 290mm fans. Now there's a 6 plus 2 phase power phase under this as well, so that's a bit more than the reference version, which only has a 4 phase. As for the dimensions, it's 235 in length, 112 in width, and 40 in height. It's quite a compact card. It's not ITX size, but it would fit in a lot of ITX builds. But yeah, it's a little bit basic looking, but it, you know, it looks like it's going to do the job. The reviews of this have been very positive um, from the cooling aspect of it as well. We've got two what appear to be six mil copper heat pipes there. Lots of thin stacks that can push all the air out, but this is going to dump the air back into your system, but keep the GPU cool. And then we have here like the honeycomb slots as well. So we have a HDMI 2.0B, DVI-D, and a DisplayPort 1.4, and this can output up to 8K, but you're not gonna be gaming at 8K with this card. Got two 90 millimeter fans on there as well, so this should keep the, this should keep the GPU pretty cool. So, not really a lot to show, really. It's a graphics card. You've seen a graphics card before, haven't you? Shall we put it in the system? So first, we're gonna to have to remove my GTX 1060, which is in desperate need of a clean. It is a dusty looking graphics card. So I'm going to take the 1060 apart. I'm going to probably put some Arctic MX4 thermal paste on it as well. And this is a Ryzen 2600 build that we have here. This is going to be the first rig that we're testing it out with on the channel. I've got a 600 watt power supply, but like I said, 450 to 500 watts should be fine with this card. Put the one screw in for now. <laughs> Honestly, I swap graphics cards so many times, I just don't, don't put two screws in. There we go, and it's about the width of a motherboard, of a full-size motherboard, so that would give you some sort of indication on the size of it. I'm hoping I didn't have an antisocial fan profile set when I uh, was last using this computer. I think we should be all right. 
Let's power it on and see that LED. So the RTX 2060 is installed. Um, didn't have any issues getting the drivers installed. Nothing whatsoever. Now remember, if you want to enable ray tracing in Battlefield, you're going to need to be on the 1809 Windows update. Something that I thought I might not have been, but I am, because um, this is my workstation PC, because I don't push the updates on it too. But yeah, overall, really happy with it so far. So as you can see on MSI Afterburner here, hear the card, but um, it's not really that loud. I've got it set to 75%. One thing I recommend is that you max out your power and temp limit. This is going to help you maintain your boost clock. Um, and as you can see over here, for a, for a while it was running at 1950 megahertz, but now it's running at 1935 megahertz. So that's 105 megahertz over what it's supposed to boost to. Temperatures are good, sat around 69 degrees. That's pretty good for a 2060. Now, if you open the NVIDIA control panel, this is how you set up your adaptive sync. So you simply go down to set up G-Sync. I've gone for windowed and full screen mode. Now it will show you which monitor you can set it up on because it has the little NVIDIA logo. Here we can see it's got the little NVIDIA logo. If I plugged in my DVI one, it would be here and it wouldn't have the logo. Now even though it says it's not validated, you can still set it. This is just NVIDIA being snobby because they don't want to admit that they've given up and <laughs> let us all have free sync. So. Yeah, they're just being a bit snobby. Then you go enable settings for the selected display. Click apply. Now the display will just go black for a second. I'm not going to do it because I don't know if it's going to cut out this video feed because I'm using shadow play to record. But that is basically it. Everything's set up, good to go. Now I'm going to be back with the benchmarks within the next couple of days. Probably Saturday or Monday I will have the 1080p benchmark for you. So make sure you come and check that out. Going to have the links in the description for all the new videos and everything that's coming out. Any questions, let me know, even if it's a few months down the line, how I'm getting on with this graphics card. Feel free to hit me up in the comment section and I'll be back with another video real soon.